Now, I'm very aware that this is a loaded question, but just, just hear me out on this. Hello everyone and welcome to the Anime Void, I'm Brian, your host, and today I'm going to be talking about Fate Grand Order Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia. Now, this is going to technically count as a first impressions, because I'm going to be talking about Episode Zero, which came out a few days ago, but it's mostly just going to be me airing a small worry that I have about the upcoming anime as a whole. So first let me just say that Episode Zero was fantastic. Animation was very much on point from just how it looked normally, as well as like the small bit of action that we got. It was amazing. Great A. And the story and tone was pretty appropriate for what this story is going to be, because Babylonia is a heavy story, and like, overall. And the episode zero covered that pretty well. It was a definitely deep story about Romani and Mosh basically interacting for like the first time in over the course of years. They were building up their relationship, which does really come to a head at the end of Babylonia going into Solomon. So while I don't have any qualms about it being serious and heavy in the episode zero and most of the tone in the overall anime being that I don't have problems with that though I am worried that it might just be that because hmm, there are some really funny moments that do happen in Babylonia and a lot of them do come from the protagonist. It comes from Ritsuka. And that's kind of where I'm nervous because most of the time, fate protagonists are bland as hell. They follow the formula that the viewer puts themselves into the character which is generally works for video games and not so much for anime. They only have so much personality that you can really work with, but mostly they're supposed to be the avatar for the viewer. And that kind of makes me worry that they may not do the over-the-top stuff. Like seriously, if Ritsuka is not hurtling towards the Earth after being launched from low orbit while shouting justice? What was the point of even making this anime? That needs to be in it. They need to have the more over-the-top and colorful personality that the Fake Grand Order protagonist has. Because, yeah, I'm not expecting, like, Ryo Kodako levels of stuff, but they do have these colorful options in the game. So I'm really expecting it to go with the more colorful options and make it like a full-fledged personality. Now you may say that they didn't do this in First Order, whereas they didn't really do that in the game either. Ritsuka started off as a pretty boring person in the game as well. There wasn't really that many colorful dialogue options. That became more apparent as the story went along. So in the penultimate chapter of Grand Order, before Epic of Remnant and Lost Belt, there was a lot of personality to choose from that most players link to this character. And to me, that is a make it or break it thing. If they don't do the protagonist right, I'm going to wonder what was the point of doing this at all. Every other character I expect to do well, but if the linchpin is not interesting, why do I care? So that's my main worry. Hopefully, it's just that. It's just a worry. And it gets proven wrong, and they do it right. They go with the colorful options, the more over-the-top stuff. Because that's what I really want, and I know that's what a lot of people want. No one wants another bland fate protagonist anymore. No one wants this. Though I guess on the topic of Fate Protagonist, I do have one nitpick. 
it, this is um, more of a thing where the choice they went with is more of a neutral option, so it doesn't make it worse. But the other thing they could have done would have made it better. I am really disappointed that they dropped the ball and didn't have Ritsuka switch genders between Grand Order projects. Because that would have been a fun little easter egg and in-joke to the fact that you can do that in Fake Grand Order, the mobile game. You can just randomly switch your gender whenever the hell you want. It would just been a nice little thing to kind of have that connection and the like, hey, kind of thing between the creators and the fandom and within the fandom as a whole. It, it Again, it's such a nitpick and not having it doesn't really make the project worse. But to me, it would have just been one of those like things where it's just like, it shows a little bit of extra care. And you know what I mean? It just would have made it a little bit better. But yep, so that's my main worry for the uh, Babylonia anime. And really every other Grand Order project going forward. It's mostly just the Babylonia anime right now because that's what's coming out next. Like, if they don't do it right there, then Camelot's not going to do it right. But if they do it right here, then most likely Camelot will do it right. So it really rests on Babylonia. So what are your hopes and dreams for this upcoming Fate anime? Do you share the same worry I do, or do you think it's a non-issue altogether? Leave a comment down below. And still, I am very close to hitting 100 subscribers. So if you could please help me reach that goal by Labor Day, that is my kind of personal deadline, then please subscribe to this channel, share it around, share your favorite video, all that stuff. And if you are already subscribed, hit that bell icon so you don't miss an upload for me. And don't forget to like this video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope to get you next time in the void. Later.